So Leona has very strong chain CC, which means builds that focus on one-shotting people with R are inherently very strong in combination with that. So this is what we're going for. I hope Zack doesn't ruin our day. Just gotta wait for his engages and then we jump him. This flowchart tells you which misfortune build is the best for each matchup. All right, time to start the lane. Get a small push advantage because we want to catch double two first. And hello to everyone on YouTube, my fellow misfortunates. Currently live streaming on Twitch. Link in the description, so make sure to join in the future. And Zeri, yeah, she is still quite strong, even after the nurse, in my opinion. So we need to give her some respect. Her early is good, but Yumi's early is terrible, so... Looks like we have a slight edge. Okay, level 2 power spike. But they get it as well. Zeri can farm very safely with Q. Oh, that's deep. Yeah, I don't want to follow when she goes that deep. We're overextended, we have no wards placed. We are fighting in the enemy wave, potentially. Pretty sure we just gave it away. Ah, Really? Missing your stun like that? <laughs> Yeah, we got some poke damage here, but some. Um, this could have been so much better had the gank actually connected. It's fine though. In this lane, our main concern is our level 6 power spike. Everything else doesn't matter too much. We play for level 6. Waves under tower. Oh, almost under tower. I'd like to push it in completely or let them come a little bit. Nice. Get the bounce. Okay. Ah, uh, Yumi is annoying. Nice, huge, huge catch, really good. Yeah, now even if they come, we have, well, we are not at numbers disadvantage at least. Get this wave under tower, we could just base here actually. I wouldn't mind. She's pushing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good base. This wave's coming towards us. We will get our items. We get our mana back. It's all good. Wait for some mana. Sure. Alright. So, Serrated Dark, strongest component in lane. By far. In my opinion, even better than Noon Quiver. Cheaper, more burst damage. Almost fortunate, at least, you know. On many champions, on pretty much any AD champion. Serrated Dark is very good. The problem is you need to then build it into something else or you will fall off. But with this build, we, we build only Lethality items and the Last Whisper item. So just stacking, so, or getting our next Serrated Dark as soon as possible. Yes, please. Oh, really? Yeah, this is our dragon now, huh? Nice. Zack even needed to smite to not die. So, yeah. He tried to cheese us there, and he paid the price for it.
And we are level 5 already. Leona a little bit behind in levels. But even when she's 5 and I'm 6, ultimately, it still makes for nasty all-ins. Just her basic spells provide a lot of crowd control, especially against Yumi. Locking her out of her W. Okay. Wave under tower. We need 1650 for this item completion, so we're not likely to get it next base unless we get like a crazy triple kill or something or double kill. Yeah, D ward. They are brave. But we cannot defend this. Closer to level 6. I'm a little bit low on mana though. Ideally, I activate my mana flow band with another Q for cheap. There we go. Alright. Oh, I think a gank is coming. Okay, we clear the wave, get their heal. And a gank was coming. <laughs> Who would have guessed? But yeah. We fixed the wave, which is the main point. They can't punish me for this base now. It's impossible. And yeah, we can't finish our item quite yet, but we can use the gold we have left to buy additional uh, one additional longsword in this case. It's always worth. Chances are you get your item next base no matter what, so just having 10 extra AD. It can go a long way. And it obviously builds into our next item, else we wouldn't be doing this, of course. Oh, okay, so they did manage to hold the wave a little bit. Unlucky. We have to hard shove now. Ulti in 40. We see Zack topside. Messy. I wasn't even sure if I was exhausting the right one because they were directly on top of each other. Hitting her with the EQ combo. Maybe I can kill. Zack is here, huh? Okay, I couldn't kill, but I cleared the wave. Which is almost as good, right? Just for the plating. Don't want to take too big a risk here. But yeah, even though we didn't kill Yumi, that's still a respectable lead we have. Okay. Mythic item completed. Obviously, the passive activates on EQ uh, on yeah, EQ combo too, but on ER combo, which is the big one. Massive damage with Emax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just pushing this out. And rotates. 
I don't want to stick around there by myself. It looks like we're about to fight. Okay. We got Zack a little bit low, but is it enough to just do Dragon? I'm not sure. Well, Diego says yes. <laughs> I'd say we pull it, but... Okay, works. It was risky though. Zack could have stolen this. We get the wave here. And we get ourselves nice and fed. Look at this. 3 and 0, 100 CS. I have low mana, so we can't go too crazy under tower. Plus no ulti. Yeah, let's just spend some money. By the time we return to lane, we also have ult back, and then we can make another great play. Hopefully. Their top laner is getting thick. But yeah, so typically people would probably recommend that you don't play Lethality Misfortune into a champion like Zac. But when you go for this very aggressive build, it doesn't matter if they have tanks, they still drop dead to your ulti. You just need to prevent getting your ult cancelled by their crowd control, of course. But other than that, they can't face tank you. Bot lane miss. <laughs> Garen is just perma proxying. And get another wave. Okay, we can't get another wave. I should have flashed his axe engage, but I wasn't ready for it, so I didn't have the reaction time. Sad. We get aced here. Come on. We just get aced at 14 minutes. Crazy. Crazy how far behind my team is. 0 and 4 Garen. Actually, we're not too far behind, but it feels very much like it. I'm not sure why. Maybe because I'm. I have the most damage on the team, and I got insta-killed at the beginning of the fight. Yeah, I should have just flashed the Zack jump. But again, that's easier when you predict it, right? I was greeting for the plating, ultimately. Another casualty due to greed. <laughs> As usual with League of Legends. Okay, Zack topside. Ulti in 20 seconds. Zeri is strong with her items. But as long as we have Leona's Ignite, we should be able to kill them even through Yumi heals. Yeah, where are you running? <laughs> they can't run farther because my ulti has a cone, right? The cone gets wider, so they can't dodge it anymore when they run too far. Good. I get both kills too. And the tower, yeah, that feels way better. <laughs> okay. Time to base get our stuff ready. We 
Malzaha also very good tanks there with Leandris. We don't need to worry at all. Let's get one control ward for this dragon fights. Okay. So we are in a good position to carry. We just need to avoid the Zax engages, then we should be alright. On my way. Get him! Just attack him! Come on! Oh, there is no tower. Why am I afraid? Ah, oh, she flashed over my E as well. Rough. Who's spamming surrender? Our mid laner. All right. <sighs> yeah, that was a little bit uncoordinated. Zach lived too long, but now we have last whisper. And as soon as we finish the item, oh, come on, Garen. Yeah, 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 we muted. We just mute all. Don't feel like seeing pings this game. Team's mental too weak. Nice. Zeri down, that's always good. But yeah, I really hope Garen will become useful. The problem with Garen is when he's behind, he, it, you really feel it. He doesn't even have crowd control he can use to support the team with. So there is that. Malzaha definitely should buy Morello, by the way. I hope he does it. Else Yumi can dominate a little too hard. I wanted to get this wave. Okay. I guess we keep pushing even. Now we rotate. O six O. I'll just ult him down. Don't want to mess around with that. Close to my three item power spike. Tower finally falls. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I just base and get my Lord Doms. I should have it in a few seconds. Yeah, 10 more seconds at this point. Oh, five actually. Huge. Especially against Zack. This giant slayer. I want to see how high that number goes this game. <laughs> 
can tell you as much, it will be greater than zero. By quite a bit. You see Cassiopeia, that's the biggest threat. We can push relatively safely. Oh no. Oh wait. Garen. <laughs> One and seven now. Eat it. Oh, the minion didn't die. Please don't tell me he lives. Okay. 206. Not even against Zack. Yeah, my ulti was slightly not killing that one final minion. Had it done that, the tower would have instantly focused them. And that would have been enough damage to cleanly kill them there. Instead, they could just reposition for free before the tower got to them. That was a little bit of a shame. Didn't dare walk farther because I didn't want to scare them off. I wanted to get a good old angle before they see what's happening. Ah. Micromanagement. Zack's passive. Can't move. Uh. <laughs> Pow. <laughs> Healing for a million, still getting 100 to zeroed. A Cassiopeia cleans up here, unfortunately. Oh, Melza are not even working towards healing reduction. Ah, oh, this is not ending well. If only Garen wasn't completely useless, the game would be much easier. <sighs> the more mountain drakes they get, the tougher this will be. Look at them. And right now they're on good course to get all four. <laughs> hmm. I also want to ward up the barren area. He walked through a ward that he could have cleared. Nice. Huge damage. Unfortunately, Cassiopeia got out alive. Colleen. Let's go. Lucky sevens, huh? Giant Slayer bonus. This build not the best at taking Baron, but it should be fast enough. We lack attack speed and armor penetration doesn't do much against this creature. Okay, Zack's paying attention to Garen, which means this is free.
And now we can work towards anti-shield. Will be highly useful against this dude with Sterox and his W. Okay, Melza finally got the Oblivion Orb and it instantly reduced a thousand healing. Good on him. Okay, so this game is doable. But I must not die. My damage is so important. I have all the kills, essentially. With my spell shield, I'm feeling relatively safe, though. Even if Zack jumps. I was hoping for a bounce onto Cassiopeia, but didn't happen. Yeah, triple inhib. We should be coming through here. Nice, clean. Only one honor for our S plus hard carry. But, damage graphs don't lie. This build, if you have the setup for this, oh, okay, a second one. <laughs> if you have the setup with your support or with a good team that supports your ultimate, but yeah, Leona a big one, of course. It can do so much work. Enemy team full of tanks, doesn't matter. You won't shot them anyway. But yeah, if you want to see a um, more balanced approach to misfortune that's not as heavily focused on your ulti, then click the link on your screen right there. A big thank you to all my Patreons and channel members. If you want to become a Patreon yourself, just go to patreon.com slash mfdb. But if you rather save your money, you can support me for free by clicking the like and the subscribe button.